Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we have for you another episode of Old School Shoots, going back to our stomping ground of Rings, Early Rings 1992, and we have Young Boy of Rings, Mitsuya Nagai taking on Man of Submission Arts Wrestling, eventual opponent of Hicks and Gracie, uh, declarer of the lack of rules is in fact a rule within itself. For anyone who's watched Choke, uh, that's a great uh, Zen <laughs> line from Koichi Okimura. And uh, here we are, those two guys fighting, I believe, on Kuroken Experiment. On rings, uh, low kicks from Mitsuya Nagai to start with. And Kimura in on that double leg. Koichi Okimura kind of lacking um, in terms of submission arts wrestling. Significantly lacking on the submission part, but the, uh, the arts wrestling was pretty good. One of Hide Takaaso's students, whereas Mitsuya Nagai was, I believe, a karateka in sort of knockdown karate before joining the Rings Dojo under Akira Maeda. Nagai would hang around most of the way through Rings. Koichiro Kimura would uh, have matches in Rings, Valet Tudor Japan and would also rock up on uh, Futen events before his untimely death not that long ago from what I remember. Very nice takedown there, that was pretty fucking cool from Koichi Okamura. Catches the kick, drags it across, then tries to Uchimata out the standing leg uh, into the guard of Mitsuya and the guy. We're going to see if Kimura can actually pass a guard, which is a skill that many of the guys were lacking at this time in Japan. Apparently completely baffled by the uh, completely inactive open guard of <laughs> Mitsuya Nagai here. The guy uh, tried to hook under for a leg here. Strong heavy pressure from the top from Koichi Okamura. So he's got the guy's. Um, the guy doesn't really have a clothes guard and he doesn't really have a butterfly guard. He's got just a nothing. He's just letting himself be stacked here. Which is not great, but he's trying to get risk control on Kimura. We're briefly going to risk control. Koichi Okamura going to the single leg, trying to apply the Achilles hole. Trying to flatten out the other leg, work his way past. Ooh, just cranking on it. Nagai tries to go under for the other leg. Very nice inversion. Uh, briefly into single leg X guard, as would be commonly nowadays known. And going for the reverse toe hold. Fucking sick work there from Mitsuya and Nagai. That was really nice. Uh, before even Bas Rudin in 1992, here is Mitsuya and Nagai pulling out the modified toe hold with the uh, just pulling on the heel on pushing on the toes. Nice takedown here from Kochiro Kimura. Nagai briefly managed to get control with a wizard, but then has managed to pop out the side, coming up on top, trying to go for the Fujiwara Amba, but Kochiro Kimura hitting the sit out and working the cross face, peeling Nagai away from the ropes. There's a lot going on in this fight. <laughs> Not very much long at all. And the guy put his foot on the ropes there from that cross face. Very nice. Right, back at it. So a rope escape each. But this being rings, you've got 15 rope escapes at this point, so uh, neither of those really count for that much. Low kicks from the guy. Another low kick. Oh, palm strike! Shote, the crowd like that one. <laughs> Kimura chucks him all the way over and then boots him in the ass. Crowd loving this one. Good action here from the guys. Shote is from Koichiro Kimura, charging in afterwards. Oh, headbutts! I don't think those are allowed, Kimura. The referee didn't see, so uh, match continues. Low kick again. Uh, Nagai seems to have learned from the last one. Uh, ooh, nice! Nice uh, turning the corner double leg. Nagai tries to go for a wrestling switch, but then misses it and goes to the all fours defense. Koichiro Kimura attacking the turtle. He'll be more comfortable attacking this than he will uh, guard, I believe, based on the submission arts wrestling rule set and his own amateur wrestling pedigree. I say that as things slow the fuck down. 
So he's got one wrist control here. And he's trying to slide his hand in for the other one. Not sure what he's going for. Trying to get that sort of defending hand away from um, the guy's head. But he could just shove his uh, arm in, same as he did before. The guy trying to reach back, thinking about double wrist lock there for a second. Koichiro Kimura sucks his own hand away. Keeping control here. Definitely working for that cross face, and, uh, and the guy's defending fairly well by just essentially cross facing himself with his own free hand. Uh, going to pick up the ankles here, trying to work a turnover, and then the referee will stand the boys up. Alright, back fighting. High kick from the guy. Palm strikes. Oh! <laughs> Goes for the uh, the Buckley kick. 30 years before uh, Jonathan Buckley hit that one in the UFC. But uh, ends up on his ass. So Koichiro Kimura catches the low kick. And the guy tries to rolling thunder him with the remaining leg. But misses completely and ends up on his ass. Kimura once again baffled by guard. Ooh, up kicks from the guy. I've seen some interesting stuff in so far. Kimura having an aneurysm uh, looks like someone's unplugged his controller because he's simply standing here in the same position refusing to move or engage with one leg control and trying to pin the other one. Ah, here we go. Sitting back on the Karashi Higi, the ankle hold. Uh, slips off and the referee calls a break because Kimura ended up halfway underneath the ropes. Uh, smart there from the guy on the restart. Ooh, nice low kick. Uh, gets, like, takes away all of Kimura's space so that he's got nowhere to back up to. High kick from the guy. Kimura, not great at striking. Kick straight into the guy's shins there. Nice, uh, classic wrestling entry. Tap the hands and then shoot a double. But the guy wise to it this time and managed to, to pull him up into an upper body clinch. Lands a knee to the thigh of Kimura. Low kicks from inside the clinch from the guy. Seen some very uh, innovative stuff here so far. Some stuff that we see, you know, 20, 30 years later on and people are like, Oh, look at all this new technique. No. Nope. <laughs> Mitsuya Nagai, professional wrestler, doing it in a mixed fight in 1992. Good palm strikes, clashes in with a head into the uh, clinch. So pioneering cheating as well, landing uh, accidental and inverted commas headbutts. Low kick, good catch from Kimura. Oh, nice! Kimura back to the cheating as well, lands a knee strike as uh, Nagai bounces off the ropes after he's been chucked into it from Kimura. It's a very nice single leg finish, uh, works if the guy isn't 100% flexible. There are some guys where you can like, get their leg all the way above their head and they're still standing, whereas Nagai, uh, hamstrings obviously need a little bit more length. Nice low kick, uh, got the got the back of Kimura's thigh there, not good. Another nice low kick. Combination, but always finishing with those low kicks means that uh, Kimura has something to shoot on. So Kimura catching the low kick, dropping it to the floor, which means that the guy was going to be standing perfectly still, catching his balance, and then shoots the double afterwards. Very smart, very nice wrestling from Kimura there. Might use that one actually. Kimura, though, not very well rounded at all. Uh, just basically had double legs and a couple of janky submission attempts, but nothing, you know, particularly secure. And uh, rudimentary passing skills will uh, give him. Nagai, however, better rounded, but obviously can't stop these takedowns. Well, he has stopped a couple, but, you know. In aggregate, is losing in terms of stuffing takedowns. Nice palm strike from the guy there. 
Oh, he caught a dick kick? I didn't see that one. I think uh, Kimura put up his knee as Nagai was closing in and caught him in the junk. Nagai obviously taking today very seriously because he's in all black gear. Another low kick. Kimura, oh, climbing up the back. Really nice wrestling technique from Koichiro Kimura. Thinks about briefly about a knee bar. Actually going to topside control. Regard from the guy here, getting his shin in. But cannot stop the passing of Kimura. Kimura into reverse Kezugatami. But yeah, I saw that happening. Oh, nice! Turns all the way over. Kimura briefly thinking about Fujiwara Armbar before going to his wrestling control. Nice, working a breakdown here. Got that close side wrist. All the way over into the bully choke! Sick! <laughs> and rope escape from Mitsuya Nagai. Very nice. So that's uh, escape one. No, it's like escape three. So I think uh, we're nearly up to down one for uh, Mitsuya Nagai. Another takedown attempt here into the headlock of Mitsuya Nagai, but I believe they're going to be broken by the referee. Yes. Alright, back fighting. Low kick from Nagai. Nagai rolling through onto the leg attack there from his leg getting caught and passed across, but didn't get in deep enough and Koichiro Kimura was able to get on top. Boys <laughs> getting peeled apart by the referee. But taking too long to break. Nice palm strike. Jab and shoot from Koichiro Kimura into a sprawl here. Cow catcher sprawl from Mitsuya Nagai into the three quarter Nelson, but Koichiro Kimura still has the low single leg. So we'll see what goes on here. Half, uh, still three quarter Nelson. There we are, break. I know I lie, that one was quarter Nelson after he passed over to the other side of the head. Don't at me, American wrestlers. Palm strike. Uh, nicely parried palm strikes there by Nagai. Managed to make sure Kimura missed both of them. But falling into the clinch, into the ropes again. Referee had enough of that chip. Back to the open with you. Low kick. <laughs> Caught, tripped. Kimura backing away because he didn't finish the uh, takedown. Something's gone on with Nagai's shoe. And back standing and back fighting. Palm strike. Nice palm strike. Hook low kick. There you go. Get some weight onto that foot so Kimura can't catch it. Uh, double leg by Kimura. Misses the double leg. Good sprawl. Or like stuffing hips. Oh, really nice foot sweep there from Goichiro Kimura. Lovely chain takedowns. Great wrestler. Stand up, says the referee. Quite a lot of action. I'm uh, having difficulty keeping up here, and I haven't been able to go off in, on any aimless diatribes about either of these fellows. Oh! Yes! Um... I, is that legal under ring's rules? The referee has no objection to it, apparently. But a nice knee to the face there from Mitsuya Nagai for a front headlock. I think Kimura managed to, like, look away from it, and so it was mostly his shoulder, but still. Kimura tying up the hands, landing a body punch, and then into double unders. Another foot sweep! Look at those foot sweeps from Kimura! Look at that guy wrestle! Passing all the way around into topside control, coming up to Kezugatami. The guy linking his hands because he knows that if uh, Kimura can like peel that hand around his waist, he can put some weight onto this uh, Kezugatami grip, this scarf hold. That aged hold of catch wrestling and also judo, but he's- oh, even with the arm in, he's just gonna give it a go. Just cranking the shit out of it. 
Ah! Rope escape! Rope escape from Kezagatami, so that must have been strong. Palm strike. Another palm strike. Oh, going ham on the head of Koichiro Kimura is Mitsuya Nagai, and then he sprawls on that takedown. Kimura sits in the corner, and referee stands them up. Great thing about rings rules. Action is the premium. Nice tackle, turning corner, double leg attempt there by Koichiro Kimura, coming up on the back of Mitsuya Nagai, kneeling on the shins to prevent the stand-up. Going all the way around to the side, probably going to try and work his turnovers and drags and then back into the cross face again. Trying to tilt over Nagai here. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> and the referee, none of that, no lay and pray in rings. Get back to getting your ass beat please Kimura. Good palm strikes from Nagai. Really good palm strikes from the guy. Kimura throws one back, throws a few back. <laughs> Chin flying up in the air. Break there on the ropes. Uh, I think there's some bleeding going on from Kimura. Nice double leg. Oh, t gets turned over by the guy. Rolls through on the turnover and coming up on the arm attack. Oh no. Just the shadow, which I thought was the bleeding on Kimura's eye. Nice palm strikes from Nagai. Oh, big knee to the head. Oh, elbows him in the spine. Referee says, yeah, probably don't do that. Uh, nice double leg there from Kimura. <laughs> yeah, referee tonight, uh, he is the traditional rings referee. Really letting them go. Break, break, he says. Get him back standing. <laughs> Not doing the best job of keeping the boys separate until he's called fight, though. Headbutts! What? <laughs> Who? Why are the rules like this tonight? Headbutts are not allowed under rings rules. <laughs> Maybe uh, Kimura requested special rules for his match with the guy. <laughs> Maybe the ref's just been told, let him go, fellas. <laughs> let the boys fight. <laughs> there we are. Fight's been called. Kimura was not look, paying attention, though. Eats an overhand there from the guy. Palm strikes from the guy. Slapping the shit out of Kimura. Oh, big knee, too. Palm strikes. Swatting him. Surely call a down ref. Kimura hunched over with nowhere to go. Shote, shote, shote from the guy. Kick him in the head. There we are. There's the down. <laughs> the referee just picked up Kimura's hands. He was not ready. He told him, get the fuck back in there. No! Kimura going for it though. He's still game. Uh, Lance, a nice palm strike there. Grabs a fistful of Nagai's hair to land some uppercuts. Nagai grabbing hold of Kimura's uh, singlet to <laughs> keep control. Let's it go. Spandex snaps back into position. Referee separates them. Ah! Calls fight! Kimura's not ready! Calls it down! The fucking corpse of Koichiro Kimura is dangling half out of the ring. He puts his hands up! No! Ref! You're supposed to keep them separate! <laughs> Sucker kick! <laughs> That's it! 28 minutes! How? Incredible fight! Great! Marvelous! Holy shit! Poor Kimura just got fucked on there at the end. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can tell, but I really enjoyed that. Uh, I hope Kimura's brain is still attached because he looks like he is 
uh, ascending to the astral plane. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in, and I hope to see you all next time.